wooed. Now the first thing we need to do to get this starty parted is, uh, well, look down here. I'm going to utilize this hill, as you can see. It's already there, so might as well take advantage of it. So I'm just gonna doodly do a little sketcheroo and then come back when the flimbledy flew. Okay. By the way, before I go any further, I wanted to say that this idea actually is not originally mine, the making pendants out of spoons. There's a guy on Instaham, uh, Ross the Maker. I'll put his Instagram here. Go check him out. He totally did this first, and I asked him if I could, you know, use his idea, and he said, sure. So I did. Now that we have our designs, let's go and cut these dingle hoppers out. On the scroll saw. Also, you can do this with a coping saw. It doesn't have to be a scroll saw. Now that we have our wooden patterns cut out, let's go ahead and uh, do some carving. Today, I'm gonna be primarily using uh, these bits. They're by this brand, I think. Not sure how to pronounce that. We're gonna give them a try today and see how they work. Oh, shaw. First bit I plan on using is this little guy. Uh-oh. By the way, if you like these sorts of videos, leave a like and uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you don't like it, leave a like and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Okay. You can see I've just kind of roughly, whoa, pooed in those lines just to kind of give me some direction. I'm gonna reduce some thicknesses, just carve on it until it looks good. Oops. Okay, let's take a quick break and check out this highlights reel I took while I was in New York visiting Nick Zametti, Derek Forrester, and Jimmy DeResta, along with some other people you may recognize. I can't help but crack up. <laughs> Tiny ice picks will be huge. 100 million views. Huge. Tiny ice picks will be huge. I approve this message. Best message. I know messages. This is the best message. Oh, you did. Huge. What? What were we saying? I want that. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. We've got it to this point. What I think I want to do is actually do the backside. So I'm just going to sketch on some of those lines and whatnot and keep on carving it. Okay. Now I'm going to try using this. It's a round diamond bear to cut in some of those lines and then come back in and do some more carving. Um, just trying different things. There's no super structured method that I follow other than I just do what works. I keep trying things until I figure out what works and then I just build on that. Whoa. And uh, watch out for that pedal. It can be touchy. As you can see, I'm just using my scalpel to kind of get down into the crevasses. Oh, getting closer. Okay. 
so... <coughs> Pesky bee! Alright, it's looking pretty good. I'd say about the only thing left to do is sandly sand. But first, we sand. Oh, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Also, I'm going to be at Maker Faire New York tomorrow where I will be bringing these with me to give away to the first people that come up and say, I want that. Dadgum jet and your jet engines. Anyways, also, I'll be giving out a bunch of these sweet stickers. Check that out, shiny. It's perfect. I didn't show me finishing this one, but I kind of did that to see if you guys were into these kind of videos. If you are, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoy these shorter, you know, less produced videos. I'd be able to make them a lot quicker and get more videos out, so just let me know. Anybody that I mentioned in the video or showed a picture of, I'll link their channels in the description. Go check them out. Also, remember to go check out Ross the Maker, hmm. Bobby, Ross. Bob Ross. <laughs> Something funky. Something funky. Something funky? Hmm. Deep thoughts with Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> What's going on back there? What? There's the that's the man behind the curtain. The man behind the beard. No pictures. No pictures. <laughs>